Van Dyke, if you thought last week was warm, mm -hmm. man, it's going to be even warmer this yeah, week. Yeah, temperatures are really going to this spike. This was just later like an week. intermission today. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. An intermission today. Tomorrow, we're back to the sunshine, and the real warm up begins Wednesday, and it's going to be pretty nice even into next weekend. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. You can see from our live camera here, it's just gorgeous out right now, but we're getting ready for a few more sprinkles. As far as temperatures go, today, of course, cooling things down. Look at the last five days, though. So Thursday, 75. We're at 76 on Friday. Over over the weekend, 70 Saturday, even 73 yesterday. Today, we topped out at 61. Our normal high is 59, so already just straight there in a row of above average temperatures there. And then this is what we get to look forward to 63 tomorrow, mid 70s by Wednesday. We're talking 80s on Thursday, and then we're still staying with the 70s Friday and near that as we go into the weekend. So temperatures are just staying above average, and conditions are staying really dry. Now we're at 60 degrees. It's a little breezy out. Winds coming in from the west at 20, gusting to 25 miles an hour. Those will slowly start to go down as we head through the rest of this evening, and we start to get some of these showers uh, out of here. Upper 50s up in Vancouver. Uh, winds gusting there to 22 miles an hour. So again, it's still pretty blustery out there, and we're still battling some showers here and there too. So pretty active in the Cascades. We've already had five inches of snow coming down over at Mount Hood Meadows just today uh, from some of these showers and in and around the metro area a few light rain showers popping up on the east side there but uh, staying fairly dry you go up towards Battleground and up near Amboy, and you can see some heavier showers there trying to push back into the higher terrain. Longview, uh, we've had showers on and off there too, getting ready for a few more downpours to roll through. And then, of course, the coast range and coastal areas have been pretty active, and we're still seeing more showers develop off the coast. So we'll still see those roll through from time to time too. So it will keep us wet at times in the evening hours, but you can see a lot of dry space there. And so most of us will enjoy quite a bit of dry time this evening. And once that sun sets, we're going to see a lot of this activity just go away. And then once we get through tonight, it is looking pretty dry all the way through the rest of the week. So here's your forecast for this evening, 7 p.m., mainly just cloudy in the mid-50s, slight chance for a stray shower to pop up. As we continue on, temperatures down into the upper 40s, and it just gets drier and drier for the rest of the night. Lows tonight down into the low to mid 40s, showers coming to an end. And just a chilly start for your Tuesday morning. Here's how it pans out. We'll be in the mid 40s in the morning. Cloudy skies will stay mostly cloudy through about the lunch hour. So it'll start off kind of gray. Temperatures will be on the cool side, kind of chilly early on. But then as we go throughout the afternoon, after the lunch hour, we're going to see those clouds start to break up. The sunshine's going to return. It's going to be a beautiful wrap up to Tuesday. And we're talking Talking highs getting into the low to mid 60s as well. And then we gear up for that big uh, warm up Wednesday when we don't have to deal with the cloud cover at all, really. So, your forecast here for the rest of the evening showers winding down, a cloudy start to your Tuesday, a few sprinkles will be possible for the coast up into southwest Washington, too. And then that clears out, sunshine comes out. Beautiful wrap up to your Tuesday. Temperatures just a little bit above average. Wednesday, we start sunny, we finish sunny, and we're going to be looking at highs getting well into the 70s. And then we're talking 80s after that. So, here's the breakdown for your Tuesday. Tuesday, central and eastern Oregon, low 60s, mostly sunny skies. Uh, those westerly winds will continue to kick up for the gorge one more day, and then those will subside. In fact, we're going to see a a total directional change with the wind uh, coming in out of the east by Wednesday, and that's going to crank up the heat. Uh, mid 70s up and down I 5. We're talking low 80s already by Wednesday in Hood River, and we're going to start to see an offshore wind develop too. And so temperatures in the 70s Wednesday for the coast, and then well into the 70s by Thursday. Thursday will be the warmest day of the week. We're talking highs in the low to even mid 80s up and down I 5, and we're talking 70s and 80s widespread east of the Cascades too. So a lot of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Brings in a slight cool down with a little bit of a little bit more cloud cover. Not much, though. We're still talk, talking partly mostly sunny skies, and we're in the mid 70s. And then we go into the weekend, and we cool things down even more, but we're staying dry. Highs in the mid to upper 60s, upper 60s next Monday. So not much rain in this forecast. April is staying pretty dry, a lot drier than normal, and of course a lot warmer than normal too. When you're talking highs in the 70s and 80s, and you can keep up with all of it, all these changes moving through by downloading the PDX Weather app. Okay, I need to ask you guys permission. What would yes. you say? Thursday is going to be the warmest day. Warmest day of the week. It's what be if I wore my coin issued dress shorts? Have that you been day? out in the sun yet? No. So we're okay, talking really band. white legs. Hair <laughs> okay. um, band. I'm banned. Okay. <laughs> Still had a new warning from computer go. experts.